Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure or set up Apache, PySpark or Scala version 3.5.3 that is the latest version on Windows operating system. Either it is Windows 10 or 11. But the process is same for both. The prerequisites to install and set up Spark 3.5.3 are Java, Python and Initials and Spark. If you go to the Apache Spark. Spark official website that is spark.apache.org hit enter click on download see here 3.5.3 .3 is the latest one and required Hadoop or initials is 3.0.3.3 or later go to documentation click on read latest list new tab see the prerix Spark runs on Java 8, 7, 11, 17 and Python version must be the 3.8 plus I have installed Java JDK 17 on my PC. If you have to install Java JDK 17, you can go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Let us verify cmd, cmd, java hyphen hyphen version. See, I have installed Java. 17 okay just to prerequisite it match it then install python go to new tab python.org click on downloads also verify i don't have python python see i don't have python or run the python 3 see i don't have python okay so click on download python see download has been started and its size is only 26 megabytes. Click on it. Select this both use admin privileges and add Python to path. Click on customize installation. Select all and click on next. See Python installation has been started and its version is 3.13. And next prerequisite is in it is. Click on close. Now go to here, then write Python. Still it is going to same. Even if we run the Python 3, see we, we are unable to run. Why? Because we have to close the CMD and open it again. Now run the Python. Okay, see we have installed Python 3.13. Control G, hit enter. Next prerequisite is initials. Okay, first download the initials. By going to the, I will give all, all these links in the video description. Okay. Go to this path. Yeah. Download 3.30 or later. See here. Free will for the Apache Hadoop 3.3 or later. Okay. So, we are going to download this 3.3 bin. Click on here. As I told you, I will give this link in the video description. Scroll down, download this in exe file. Click on it, then click on this download raw file. Go to downloads. See, we have downloaded. Go to downloads, copy this file, click on this copy button. Now go to C drive, create a directory in C drive, give the how to. Hit enter. Then create one more directory. Give it as name. In this directory, paste the downloaded minutes file. See, I have kept. Okay, second prerequisite match. And third one, download the Spark. Go to here. Click on download. Then select, see here we have the 3.53 and 3.43. So we are going to download the latest one. So click on this zip file. Click on it. Click on this mirror. See we have different options. So select the first link. Go to download. See here its size is 382 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See download is completed. Go to downloads. 
See we have the refresh. See we have zip zip file. That is gun zip file. So to unzip, we have to install WinRAR 7 zip. Okay. You can go through this link and you can download the WinRAR. I will keep all these links in the video description. Right click WinRAR extract. Then select the extract files. Then download this in C drive. Select C. C. Select C drive. Then click on OK. Once extraction completed, remove this one. It is not required anymore. Go to C drive. Go to Spark. See here we have this Spark bin Hadoop. Rename this as Spark. Hit enter. We go to here, see here we have the bin directory. So the prerequisites we have already downloaded. Now we have to configure or set up the system environment variables for this. Except Python, we have to set for Java, Hadoop, Spark. Okay. So right click on this PC, properties, advanced system settings, then environment variables. This is the one we are to open the system environment variables otherwise start edit system c we have the edit the system environment variables both are same click on environment variables then in system variables create new okay the first one is already set then second click on new then give Hadoop underscore home then provide the we need this path that is Browse C drive Hadoop, select the Hadoop, then click on OK. Click on OK. Then next, click on New, then Spark underscore Home, then select the directory. Browse the directory, again C drive, then select the Spark. That is, we have extracted one, click on OK. On OK. Now click on this path variable. See here we have the path variable. Click on edit, then click on new. Then see like Java home, we have to give Hadoop home and Spark home. Give the percentage Hadoop underscore home backslash bin. Okay, click on OK. Then click on new spark underscore home, then backslash, then give bin. Click on OK. One more time, verify the variable names. Hadoop home, spark home. Spellings are same, okay. Verify, edit, okay. All are set correctly. Click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. Now open CMD. Now run the Spark shell. See, we have successfully connected to Spark version 3.5.3. This is, this is the scalar version of the 2.12.18. See, this is the UI. Select it and hit enter. Go to the new tab, paste it, hit enter. See, Spark shell. Okay. And see here we have the jobs, stages, stages, storage, environment. See, this is Java environment details, Spark Home and all, okay. See, we have the more information. And this is the version of the Scala and this is the version of the Java, okay. And this is the Java Home that we have configured. And execute us, okay. We don't have any jobs. And user is this one and total uptime 1.4 minutes, okay. Now, go to the terminal, Control G, Control D to quit. 
now connect to pi spark by running simply pi spark hit enter see we have successfully connected to pi spark shell because see here we have the python okay and this is the yeah, we will hit select it and hit enter go to new page paste it hit enter see here we have the pi spark shell but here we have the spark shell okay same way we have the and see the version 3.5.3 and stages storage environment executors okay see here this is pi spark okay here you can for create rdds data frames etc we can perform here okay so in this video we have seen how to download and set up apache spark 3.5.3 for scalar pi spark on windows operating system for more pi spark or scalar tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you